Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my journey, trying to grow back my edges and what I'm currently using and how I'm going to take better care of my edges going forward, basically. So keep on watching. So basically, this all started in November when I wanted to go on vacation and I opted to get a frontal professionally installed. This is no way in no way in fault of the hairstylist. This is all my fault. I did not remove it properly. I was literally tired and annoyed and just sticky. You know when you come back from vacation and you're annoyed and you just want to unpack everything? That's literally what it was. As soon as I walked into the house, I just literally was like ripping off my frontal. I did spray a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of the glue remover on my edges, but it wasn't coming off fast enough. And me being me, I just ripped it off instead of taking my time to properly soak it, rub it, condition it, all of that stuff, which I should have done now looking back. I wish I took my time to properly remove my frontal. So that's how this all started. And then I believe a few weeks after I removed my frontal, I got knotless braids in, which probably made it worse because it was pulling on the little edges I had left. I will try and insert pictures of what I started at. So I went on vacation in December for my birthday. So I went over the new year. And then once I came back, I believe it was the second week of January, that's when I removed my frontal. So I'll kind of show a timeline of what I've had so far. Um, Cause now it's May and my edges are slowly growing back. I'm not sure if you could see. Like, this side was my problem side. Like, literally, there was a whole patch hair of, like, no hair. And then this side, it's it was way better than it is now. But this side was never giving me that much problem. It was, like, this little patch that didn't have a lot of edges. But I'll also insert the pictures. Um, so I was obviously on YouTube Googling and searching long and hard how to grow back my edges. And I came across this lady's video. I actually love her channel. She does a lot of natural, holistic things like how to grow your hair back. She makes a lot of um, oil-based like growth serums and stuff like that. And I believe she does sell her own hair growth oil. So I'll leave her link down below. I believe the name of her channel is Mercy. And I believe she's a nurse. So this is where I got the idea from. So what I've been mixing is virgin hair fertilizer and Jamaican black castor oil in a little can. Just a little, little Dollarama thing like this. So I mix half of the Jamaican black castor oil and half of the virgin hair fertilizer. And I also add kaleidoscope drops. In her video, she only did the two, but I decided, hey, like I have a full bottle of kaleidoscope drops and this is supposed to help grow back your hair, so why not add more benefits and nutrients? So I added that to this also. So what I do every morning, I'll insert a clip. I use this paste. It's very smelly and sticky, mind you. So be careful if you are mixing this. Put it in something that you don't care about. So I put it in here. I mix like equal parts. There's no real measurements. And then I put this on my temples every morning and every night and I massage it in for about a minute just to get it all in. For the last few months I've mostly had braids in and like straight backs because I'm still on lockdown where I live. So I haven't really been going anywhere or wearing that much wigs. But if I do put on a wig I'm not gluing it down with glue. If anything I'll use the ORS fix it gel and just put it on and when I'm taking it off I'll take it off very very carefully and with a lot of water. Um, so this is what I've been doing to try and grow back my edges. Moisturizing them and putting this in like twice a day morning and night. It's slowly been helping like this side is way better than it was before um, if you have any suggestions anything that will help me grow back my edges to what they were before if I haven't already tried them please let me know I've also tried to incorporate a lot more biotin and healthy vitamins in my diet like I've tried to take the Nutriburst because I know that's high in a lot of vitamins I've tried to take the hair skin and nail gummies I believe they're Nature Valley. I've just tried a lot of things to help me with my hair from the inside and the outside. I'm trying to drink a lot of water, all of that good stuff. The only thing I would say with this mixture is that it does smell. 
and it did stain my sheets like 100 percent stained my sheets it's like to the point where like i had to buy black pillowcases because all of my pillowcases were turning different colors and it would not come out in the washing machine so just fyi be careful but this is what's been helping me so far i would definitely recommend this um the virgin hair fertilizer does last really really long it's like a big tube like the size of this i got mine from the local beauty supply store but i know they do have it on amazon i will leave the links to everything down below um i also tried hair by erica j's um growth oil i did order that and i did add some to my mixture as well but it wasn't from the beginning i think i added that halfway because i did order hers and i wanted to try it for some reason when i do put it on my edges though and i rub it in just the hair by Erica J growth oil separately. It likes to bubble up like almost like you put soap in your edges. It smells really nice, but it has like a weird texture once you rub it in. So I would definitely recommend adding that to your regimen. Other things that I think helped um, growing my hair back, I used to um, use the rice water method, soaking the rice for a little bit and then putting it in my hair and letting it sit like a hair mask for 30 minutes. I would do that every two weeks maybe because I wash my hair like every other week. Also, another product that I use, I, use, I like alternate because sometimes I get tired of the smell of this. So sometimes I would use the Dr. Miracles Nape and Tame Moisturizer. It's a, a, almost like a hot growth um, oil. I put it in my edges. It's clear and it like literally tingles. You can feel like the peppermint and all the oils tingling in your scalp. I put it in the front and the back just because the back of my hair sometimes gets very dry. So that also works for me. Combination of all these things that I've mentioned, I've tried and I've worked into my regimen. I would say the most effective thing I've used is the little mixture of the Jamaican black castor oil and the virgin hair fertilizer. Sometimes I would rotate because I just get tired of this and then I would use the Dr. Miracles. But overall, the, I think the main thing is being super, super consistent, doing it every day, massaging your temples and your hairline every day to help the hair grow back. And also just keep going. It's not an overnight thing. This is definitely did not grow back overnight. This has definitely been like a long, long, long journey and I will never rip out a frontal again. I promise. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips or tricks or anything, please let me know. I would love for my edges to be full, like, the front of my hair. I can't even do certain hairstyles anymore. Because if I, like, swoop here, it's, like, bald hair. If I swoop here, it's, like, bald hair. I can't really wear my hair up in a big bun because, like, my edges are so thin. I've even tried using the black edge tamer just because it gives you, like, a darker, fuller hairline. Um, I've stopped putting my hair in like really tight hairstyles like even this I have like a little elastic on and I'll probably take this out within the hour um, I've done a lot of things and switched up a lot of things in my routine just to help my hair grow back and not put so much tension and pressure on my hairline even when I would like throw on a wig I don't really put on a bald cap anymore I just put it on my head if I have it on I'm never leaving it on overnight it's only for a few hours so there's a few things that have changed up in my like regimen and like how I do things to help my hair grow back and to prevent any other hair from like falling out or my edges going balder. So yeah, that's everything. I hope this helps somebody because her video helped me. So shout out to her. I will leave the link down below. And just anything that you think would help. Um, I'm hoping it's not like alopecia. I don't think it is because it has been growing back pretty well. I think it is just because I ripped off my frontal in the worst way possible and I didn't take my time to remove it. So if there's anything that you think that would help me, please let me know. But this is just my journey. I will try and update you guys um, maybe in another five months on how my edges look because it's been since December to now, it's been like five, almost six months. And this is as far as they've gotten. I will insert the picture of before. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please leave me any tips. I'm down for suggestions. I'm open. Thank you so much for watching this video.